Hi everyone. For our first project video, uh, the goal is to create um, a polyhedron that has a framework with open faces. Um, so let me show you what that means. Here's a icosahedron or an icososphere um, that I loaded into Blender and then um, through what I'll show you in a second, an array modifier, I was able to delete the faces and thicken these edges. And um, then notice it's been rendered using a spotlight uh, and set on a plane like this. I like the way it's casting the shadow of the light beneath here. Uh, let me pause for a second. Here's an example of a cube and then nested inside of it are further cubes. I think they're about 15 or 16 in here as they go in smaller and smaller to the uh, interior of this. And let me see if there's another one here. Uh, pause that. Here's another, another view uh, of that. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. Um, let me bring up Blender here. So File New, and when you first launch the program, sorry, um, you're given this splash screen, and you click away to the background to remove that. And by default, um, you've got this cube sitting here. Um, after watching the first video, you should know how to zoom in by using your scroll wheel, zoom out, orbit around by pressing the middle scroll wheel and dragging with your mouse and panning by holding down shift and moving it left or right, up or down. <clears throat> Another navigation that's really important to learn is using your, the number pad on your, keep, the keypad on your um, regular keyboard, uh, but the number pad. If you hit number one, it gives you a front view. Notice it says front perspective, and what that means is uh, we can still see a sense of perspective, so um, even more exact is to hit number 1 and 5, and that brings us to an orthographic view. And right now we're looking at it from the front exactly. Um, if I hit number 7 on the number pad, I'm looking at it from a top point of view, and number 3 from the side, or right side, I mean. So all of this is good. Uh, so it's, this is just navigation, uh, so when I refer to this um, in a video, you'll know how to do it. Another, uh, another thing to take note of is the position of the camera here and the light source. When we start to render these things, you're going to need to pay attention to the position of these things, but I'll show you that as we get to it. So this is fairly simple. What I'm going to do is, right now we're by default in object mode, if you see down in the bottom here, the cube is selected. And I come up to the upper right here. Um, if this is pushed in more and you can't see the tool, just drag this out and click on the wrench. And what we're going to do is add a wireframe modifier to this. So I click Add Modifier and come over to Generate and down at the very bottom click Wireframe. <clears throat> and we can apply it here. And then the next thing I want to do is give it some thickness. Uh, it's pretty thin right now, so I'm going to add another modifier, and that one is called Solidify. So click right here, and right where it says Thickness, you can scrub this, and scrubbing is a click right on thickness and drag action, like that. So click and drag, and give it a little bit of thickness in here. <clears throat> so there's 0.089, but you can choose your own depending on, on the form. So now we have a, a cube that has very defined edges on it, um, and that's pretty nice. So um, let's go ahead and finish this by rendering it. So first thing is I want to go to the front view and left click below it and add a, um, a plane to put this on. So 
I can either go over to Create tab on the left and click on Plane, and then scale it. So I'm going to hit S, and then the number 5, and then left click, and that makes it a much larger plane. Okay. Next I want to see, well, let's get it positioned perfectly under here. So I'm going to click on the blue arrow and drag this right up to the bottom of that, like that. Okay, so it's sitting right on the plane. Next I want you to hit number zero on your number pad. And um, we need to lock the camera view to uh, our navigation ability. Uh, right now it's not. So bring up the another small menu, uh, the properties menu, by hitting the letter N, as in Norman, and click lock camera to view right here and then hit N again to get rid of that. Now I can pan and rotate looking through the camera, and that's important. Um, so, by default, these materials are white, diffuse materials, much like painted wood or matte board. Um, and um, if I were to render this right now, um, what would happen? I'm going to hit F12 as a shortcut to rendering. And notice that the light isn't very exciting. The default light is enough to give us an idea of what's here in Blender Render. But we're going to make something much more interesting using a more advanced render engine. So hit Escape on your keyboard. And then come up here to Blender Render and change that to Cycles Render. And if I hit F12 again, you'll notice that we don't have much light set up. This takes a little bit longer to render. It's very dull here. So I'm going to hit Escape and cancel that. And let's set up a lamp. So our, our lamp, uh, which is in the scene here, we can select by coming up to the outliner and the top right here and clicking Lamp. And then click on the Lamp Properties over here. And let's choose a sun, and instead of a spotlight, well, actually a spotlight is kind of fun uh, because it'll cast some more intense shadows here. And with cycles rendered selected, I use, click Use Nodes, and by default um, we have an emission modifier. And the strength, I'm going to start out at 4,000. Enter. Um, and while we're trying to arrange this, if you come over to the left here, next to Object Mode, this is our solid mode that we're in, we can click on Rendered and see how the strength of 4000 is shaping up. So that's kind of bright, isn't it? So I'm going to click on Strength over here and try 3000. Enter. It's better, a little less. So I'll try 2000. Enter. Uh, that's good. I kind of like that. <clears throat> and now, let's see, I want to sh hit Shift and pan up a little bit, maybe pan over a little bit. So I'm holding down Shift and pushing on my right mouse button. And maybe I'll um, orbit over top of it a little bit. And very good. Now we want to set up our render properties. So click on the camera in the upper left here, and where it says resolution right here in the middle, X and Y, uh, bring that up to 100%. And then down here under sampling, click that. Uh, since it's such a simple render, I think we'll leave it at 128 for now. Um, and so now I'm going to hit render by going F12. And let me pause the video. You can see it takes a bit. Um, it's going to take almost three minutes, so let me hit pause here. Okay, that actually took a little under two minutes. <clears throat> and since the image is full HD resolution, which takes up the size of the whole screen, let me zoom out a little bit. And now you can see the entire render here. <clears throat> So this is really simple. We didn't um, change the cone of the uh, spotlight. 
Uh, we didn't change the background at all. We didn't change the material here. Um, but being very simple, I just love the, the clarity and simplicity of how the spotlight is creating and projecting a two-dimensional shadow from the three-dimensional space. Um, so next, be sure to save the image. And so come down to image, or easier yet, you can uh, hit F3, but you could just click image, save as image, or hit F3 on your keyboard. And by default, it's going to send it into your documents. Name it here, um, Project 1. Um, you can leave it as a ping. That's a good, good file here. Uh, format to save. And then uh, to do a variation on this, hit Escape. <clears throat> and let's change the lighting a little bit and change the perspective. So I'm going to click and drag this and look at it from another point of view. And instead of this gray background, let's make it solid black. So I'm coming up to the fourth tab in, which is the World tab, and then where it says Color, I'm going to click and then on the value scale on the far right here, drag that all the way down to black. See, we're still previewing here. And let's see, on the lamp, why don't we add a little color to that too? So I'm going to click the white color of the lamp and warm that up a little bit. Um, maybe not quite so warm. Let's take a peek here. So don't, don't use too intense a color, although. <clears throat> if you really love a really intense color, you might need to take the strength of this up. So 3000, and see how that's going to preview. But I, my preference is perhaps a little more subtle on the color here. And zoomed in, and panned over, and then hit F12, and I'll pause it again. Okay, here's the final render. Uh, that took a little under two minutes as well. Um, and hit F3. And Project 1, uh, let's say dot .1. Um, and save as image. Uh, hit Escape. Um, let me click back and make white here again. Um, Now for fun, I'm going to change the material here. Uh, so let me go back to solid mode so you can see this better. It's right next to object mode. I'm clicking this button, solid mode, and right clicking to select the object. And then coming up to this orb, which is um, all the way over here. And if you don't see it, pull out your, your menu here, your palettes, click that click Use Nodes, and instead of Diffuse, now let's try Glossy. And to make it golden color, I'm going to click the color here and add just a little yellow and touch, touch of orange into it. Keep it subtle again because it, it you'll see when I render this what it looks like. Uh, once again, F12, and let me pause it. I see in the middle of the render here, I just paused the render, that the top half of this, where uh, the metal is not, this is metal now, not reflecting directly the plane under it uh, because of the black world, it's kind of disappearing, so I want to add a little roughness to it. So let me hit Escape here and come over to Roughness and put in point to Enter. And then I'm going to hit F12 again and pause it. Okay, so by adding that roughness, you see it looks more like a, um, a brushed metal. Uh, it gave us more, uh, instead of a pure mirror surface, <clears throat> which was reflecting all this darkness, it's picking up more of the ambience and is more visible. So um, try a different shape, uh, try different colors, materials, uh, try different um, 
viewpoints here on this first project of, of lighting, rendering, and um, creating a 3D uh, polyhedron. Uh, by the way, um, this is cube is one of the um, five known in the universe platonic solids, and Plato first described this around 2,000 years ago, um, of solid objects that have perfectly equal edges, perfectly equal vertices, the angles that is coming off of each vertex, and perfectly equal faces. All angles, faces, edges, vertices are exactly the same. Um, okay, that's it for this video, and see you in the next one.